Hey guys, I'm back and I am back bearing gifts. So if you are interested in getting that gift, you gotta stay till the end of the video, okay? But with that being said, I wanted to talk to you guys today about the GRE. So I know a lot of you are like in the throngs of preparing for the GRE. And I wanted to give you some tips to help you succeed on the day of the test. So if that is the category that you're in, this video is for you. So let's get into the video right now. what's up you guys it's Sedona. welcome back to my channel okay so like i said i wanted to give you guys some tips on like preparing and succeeding for your gre i've already talked to you guys a lot about the gre because guess what it is relevant okay it's still relevant it's still important especially if you are trying to get into pa school there are over 300 pa schools that are out like up in, in existence and over a third of them actually still like require the gre like there's like 110 or 111 schools that still have requirements of having to have taken the GRE. Now, I know for some of you, you're like, oh, 33%, like that's not anything, but it's really not just 33% because you're not applying to 300 schools, right? You may be applying to five schools and all five of those programs may require you to take the GRE. So if you find yourself in that boat and you're like, oh, I don't wanna take the GRE or I haven't even you know, done anything to like make sure that I'm even like ready to take the GRE, then, you know, you're out of luck. You're like freaking screwed. So <laughs> with that being said, it's important to follow the four P's of the GRE so that you can actually like do well on your GRE exam and like just put yourself in the best position to succeed um, and get into PA school, okay? So let's talk about the four P's. Now, honestly, like two of these P's seem um, like they're the same thing, but they're not. I'm going to explain to you exactly why they're not. So the first P is preparation. So you have to prepare for the GRE. You have to know exactly like, what is this task? What is it going to consist of? Um, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I always talk about do your research. Um, that is like my main thing. Do your research, okay? Um, and in doing that, that research, that is part of the preparation process, right? So when you're preparing for the exam, that entails like, knowing when you're gonna take the exam, where you're gonna take the exam, what time you're gonna take the exam, um, understanding like the route that you're going to take to get to the exam. Um, and that is like beforehand and even like a day or two before because sometimes there may, you know, like something may pop up. Maybe now you were taking like time to study for the GRE and before it was a clear route, but now they're doing road work. You have to be aware of those things. So understanding and like doing that preparation ahead of time will like kind of prevent you from getting into these pitfalls of things that may just happen to pop up that you weren't prepared for before. In that preparation, you also need to understand like specifically like what route you're gonna take with respect to like the actual test in terms of like how long you're gonna take to study for it. And that is where the second P comes in. That second P is planning, okay? And so I know preparation and planning sounds exactly the same. It's not, okay? They are very similar, but it's not. When I'm talking about planning, I'm talking about planning in terms of the exact exam, okay? So planning like how long you're gonna be studying for the exam in terms of is it going to be like a quick crash course because you just got out of school and you're pretty familiar with like studying and all that stuff. So you just want 30 days and you want to like knock it out. Or let's say you you were like me and you had been out of school for a little while and you wanted like three months to plan for this exam. In that plan, you have to lay out, all right, how much time am I spending studying a day? Because um, all of this has to work with your schedule, right? You have to be flexible enough, like you have to have a plan that's flexible enough to fit into your work life so you can find that balance. And even if you don't have a job, like even if it's not like work-life balance, we're talking work-life balance in terms of like your studying because when you're taking the GRE and preparing for the GRE, studying is your job, okay? This is your job. So you really need to go in there and plan that out specifically, like how many hours a day am I studying? Like how many days a week am I studying? Um, what is that look like in the studying? So when you are in the throngs of planning, you're gonna understand specifically like what areas am I gonna need to have 
like more attention to, right? So like I said, if you're going to spend a week on verbal and a week on writing, but two weeks on your actual like quantitative section, like that is really important because it allows you to see which area needs the most attention. And how you're going to be able to do that is by figuring out like what kind of like test prep system or plan you're going to put into place. Now, luckily I have a free full length GRE test just for you is being brought to you today by our sponsor, which is Magoosh. So I wanted to talk to you guys about Magoosh. Magoosh is actually really, really a great company because they are the only GRE test prep that has official GRE material and questions. Um, it allows you to actually like simulate the real test conditions. And it's really important to test with official questions because is going to like prepare you for test day the best right because you're going to be able to like have no surprises because you've been testing with the actual material the entire time now the free practice test gives you an accurate score prediction it gives you like subject by subject performance breakdown and it allows you the opportunity to either take a single section like the math or verbal in 30 minutes or the whole assessment over the course of an hour and guys it is completely free so this is my free gift to you so if you are interested in getting and obtaining this free gift to help you prepare and get a diagnostic assessment of where you stand and land hit the link in my description box below i'm going to link it there for you so that you can get this free full length test prep. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, when you are in that prep plan and now you're in the practice mode, figuring out exactly specifically like what areas you need a little bit more strength, um, strength building in or what areas you can like tend to leave at the wayside is really important. So practice, practice, practice. Okay. You have to practice because as they say, practice makes perfect or practice makes permanent. So the more you like practice with these test prep questions, the more you're going to be familiar with how tests are asked, answered, how they're assessed, like what what are they looking for? How, why is one answer more correct than the other answer? Those are all things that are important in understanding how to take standardized tests or high, um, high stakes tests like the GRE, LSAT, all those other exams, okay? Any board exam. So it's really important to practice. Um, and it's really important to practice with materials that you can take on the go. So, you know, if you find like a test prep um, like uh, your Magoosh or your like Quizlet and things like that that you can just have on your your like tablet or your phone in the palm of your hand so you can go through questions go through um, looking at like the different verbal words so that you can like get them into memory and then use them in real life that is really important because again it becomes a part of you it becomes a part of like second nature for you and that gives you really again the opportunity to truly be well versed in that material so that when you are in this whole planning mode of studying for the GRE uh, it makes it easier for you the day of the actual exam and we'll talk about our fourth and final P and that is putting it all together. So um, the production of it, okay. So with that being said, after you've prepared for it, after you've planned for it, after you've practiced, you gotta produce, right? You gotta put it all together and the produce, the producing part of it, the production of it comes the day of the test. So really and truly, the, the first part of the producing is taking your final diagnostic test. It's really important to see kind of where you were and where you landed to see if it really made a difference, to see if you actually are prepared to take the exam because it's important. Um, and if you have been doing the things that you said you were gonna do and you were really putting that work in, it's a no brainer that there is going to be some type of increase in your knowledge and in your score overall, because you have been practicing and practicing and practicing over a period of time to better yourself. So when it comes to the day of the test, after you've taken that final diagnostic test, um, maybe like the night before, two nights before to see exactly where you are, you take a, like a little bit of like study vacation and then have a good night's rest and go ahead and produce baby and do well on your GRA because you're going to score higher than you were gonna score before you started this prep. Um, and it's all because you followed the four Bs and you did some practice tests and diagnostic tests and you did a really good job in preparing yourself for the exam. 
So let's just run it back, all right? So the four Ps, what are the four Ps, you guys? It's preparation, planning, practice, and production, putting it all together. Hopefully this was very beneficial to you guys. Hopefully you take these tips, you put them into practice, put them into production, um, put them into plans, actually like get this thing moving so that you're able to really prepare yourself so that when the day of the GRE test comes, there are no surprises. You're doing well. You're like feeling not anxious because you are prepared. So fear is not even in your vocabulary unless it's on the verbal, <laughs> unless it's on the verbal vocabulary and then you'll know the meaning of it. Uh, but you're just ready and prepared for the exam. Okay, hopefully this was beneficial. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at on the PA. And guys, hit that link in my description box below for your free assessment test produced by Magoosh. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.